go. You ready? ready? We doing it? We're filming? We're ready. We're okay, filming. guys, on this video, we're going <laughs> to... It's on this episode. It's an exciting one because we got some cool stuff in here. I imagine you could probably figure out what it could be with the size of it. Could be a, could could be a roof man. rack, ski rack Body carrier. Kid, dude. A ski rack carrier? Dude, it's a mountain bike carrier. That's what it is. Big mountain bike guy. So yeah, in this box, we have a body kit. When we dive into it and unbox it, we'll kind of go into more details about it. And in the next coming episodes, either this one or the next one, we also have BC coilovers. This is gonna make it handle and ride so much better with BC Racing Coilover. So BCs are gonna give us the handling that we need as well as the perfect ride height that we need. So the body kit, the BCs, the fresh livery, it's gonna all tie together very nice. So let's get to unboxing the body kit and we'll go from there. Dang, girl, do you have a CDL for that dump truck? Ow! All right, so Kai and I already opened this, so this piece is out, but here's the front piece. Another front piece. Another front piece. So this kit was sent to us by Battle Arrow. We reached out to Battle Arrow and they were happy to support this build, as well as we will be having some of their products on our website for resale. So if you need a wide body kit, if you need some over fenders, if you need a wing, make sure to check out Battle Arrow. They have some sick stuff. Dude, I'm being reckless. Oh yeah, baby. Wing. They definitely package their stuff well. This is our new duck bill from Battle Arrow. Super nice design. Rear over fender. Nice cut out here for the gas tank fill up, gas cap fill up. And then yeah, some sick stickers, dude. All right, here's our OEM fenders. <laughs> As you can see, this one's seen uh, better days. Covers. That damage part anyways. That's half of what we we're going for and half was to fit the uh, extended track with angle kit and also make it look sick at the same time. So look, show them. Big dent. Full access. Let's go. Oh yeah, you're pushing it. Okay, we're getting there. So let's go check in with Kyle. Uh, yesterday I was sick, so Kyle kind of kept on working on the front. But now we're back, it's Friday. So Kyle, what's up, man? What's going on? We're stalling these over fenders from Battle Arrow. Packed it on, to see where I wanted it. I self-tappered it to the fender. And then with those pilot holes, I can then drill it out with the step bit and then have uh, rib nuts in the fenders so that we can easily take them on and off if we please. Got the other side done, the fenders cut, clearance, and it looks great. I'm gonna work on the duck bill, I'm gonna work on the side skirts, I'm gonna work on mounting the front bumper and make it fit up nice with our headlights and our front uh, over fenders. Right after I install these rib nuts, I'm gonna do a cut on this fender. I gotta be careful that I don't cut too much of the fender. You can get really carried away, like thinking, oh, the wheel might hit like here, here, and here, but this doesn't cover all the way, so you gotta be careful and only cut up to here where I have it marked, so. We have today to work on it, and then Monday, because Tuesday it goes to Paul's to get painted and wrapped. Yes, sir. We'll get all the panels mounted for Paul, and he should bang out some paint and wrap, and it should look great. So what do you think for fitment for this? Do you think we're gonna need, like, a wheel spacer on the front, or? So yeah, Cam asked that question earlier, and um, when we lower the car, the uh, control arms actually even out and they push the wheel out. So the wheel actually comes to here. If you're really getting after it, you could put a 10 mil spacer and get that super flush fitment. But I think for our purposes, with the wheel like coming out to here, it's fairly flush, it looks good to me. So once I get those BC Racing coilovers installed and dial in the, the ride height and the fitment, it should look sick. Dude, how's the dent going, man? How's it look? Whoa, dude. Oh, that looks great. Oh, nice. Straight, dude. Still like a little bit at the bottom, but like... I know, it's so if really you look good. at it, there's just a big... Like it's very tight at the bottom. Right. So I can't get can't get a tool in that. I mean, we could try a pry bar, Kyle. It's better though. It is better, better. way better. Yeah. yeah, just a couple swings with the, the jack handle. Okay. Oh, it's... 
Yeah. It's permanently deformed. We'll call that good. Nobody hit this door ever again. What do we got, Ryan? We got quarter drive ratchets with three eighths heads and a snap on beach towel. <laughs> oh. Beach towel gets thrown in with the ratchet? Oh, uh, yeah. Got my color. Got my color. And you get a beach towel. Nice. I go to the beach a lot. I got regular impact gloves. So if you get really angry and want to punch something, they got the knuckle protectors. Watch out, Jack. Uh, well, <laughs> here. Down. Get a cup of tech decks. So once you see this battle arrow wing, it goes here and then flush to here where the other one sat all the way up to here. So that's why Kyle had to weld where the drill holes were for the old one. And now this new one's gonna sit here and be nice and flush to here. But uh, this will all be painted over anyways. All right, so another mod on our list. You guys know that Kiernan powder coated our C rails for us, so they look spicy now, all in black, no more rust. And we got our D and D bucket seat here that we're going to be slapping in it for the driver's seat. Hey, not bad. We just threw in the D and D seat with the sliders from Drift HQ mounted to our FDF side brackets for the 350 that we never actually did market, but we always have had. I made them years ago. It's perfect. We're gonna be able to share this car. This is a share car for me and YouTubers and employees and everything else. So the seat needs to be a generic seat. Don't let my size throw you. This seat's very comfortable. It hugs your waist just like you'd want it to. And it fits big thighs, little thighs, all the thighs with Adjustment on the slider. It's perfect. D and D performance interior. It's what you want in your race car. So what do, what do these feature? We got dampening adjustment. Yep. Dampening adjustment. We got ride height adjustability. Yep. We got preload separate from ride height. And then we got a rear. Cool. So me and Rain are gonna be hitting an install on these. We'll show you a couple clips here and there and yeah. Okay, so we got our BCs freshly installed. Beautiful looking coilovers. We got our dampening adjustment. Right up there. Get the backs on. And we got the little extenders for the dampening in the back. So should be all good to go. We're BC'd up, ready for Monday. Well guys, this is our shop 350Z that we just finished a revamp. 